Hey everyone, welcome back. Today is September 1st and it's finally time to start decorating for fall. Well, at least in my opinion it is. I have five brand new, high-end, very easy Dollar Tree fall DIYs for you guys today. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Jessica. If you like home decor and DIYs on a budget, make sure to stick around by hitting that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications so you never miss out on a new video. All right, let's get started on the DIY. This first DIY, I have six of these wooden pumpkins with the letters already on them. I found all of the letters to spell out the word gather, but if you can find welcome or hello fall or just fall um, or pumpkin, you could spell out pretty much anything with these. Um, and then I took nine wooden dowels, which these are the ones from Dollar Tree, and I'm gluing them in sets of three side by side so that way I just make a thicker wooden dowel. Now I'm gonna make a sign out of these wooden pumpkins. So I'm just gonna lay my pumpkins face down and I'm gonna stack them on top of each other, spelling out the word gather vertically. And I'm gonna hot glue the stems of the pumpkins to the bottoms of the other pumpkins. And then for some extra support, I'm using those sets of three wooden dowels on the backs of the pumpkins and hot gluing them down them so that that way everything is extra stable. The last set of of wooden dowels I did have to cut in half but I just cut them in half so that way it was even with the bottom of the bottom pumpkin and that was it for this cute little standing fall sign This next DIY, I'm using one of the 8x10 canvases from Dollar Tree. I love using these canvases for all sorts of DIYs. And to take the canvas off of the wood frame, I just use an X-Acto knife and I just cut the uh, back off that you see here and then I just pull it apart from the staples and I just leave the staples in because you're not gonna see that side anyways. Now what I wanna do is where it's creased at from where it was folded over the frame, I'm gonna go ahead and cut down those creases because I want this to be um, flat and nice and even. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and take that frame and I'm gonna use some watered down brown paint to just stain it. I just put a coat on there and I wiped the excess off and then I just let that dry. Now for the canvas, I am going to use my printer to print on my canvas. So I went ahead and made this free printable on canva.com. This is not sponsored, but it's super easy to use and everything is free here. You can size it to whatever size you'd like. You can pick different fonts and lots of them are free. There are There is a version that's not free, um, but I this whole printable, I used with everything that was free on Canva. I just downloaded it and then now I can print it off my computer. The link is down below for the free printable. Now the printer that I'm using is this uh, HP 4500, which I've had for 10 years and it works perfect to print on canvas. So here's the canvas. Um, one side is the canvas material, which is a cream color. The other side is more white. I'm gonna print on the actual canvas colored material. So I'm gonna put it upside down, load it in my printer, press print, and it comes out just like that. My words and my picture and everything, and it looks great. Now I just need to attach my frame to my canvas. So I'm just gonna line it up, and then I just flipped it over and added some hot glue to the back side and placed it on top of my canvas. There was some extra canvas around the frame that I just trimmed off with my scissors, and that was it for this simple picture. Thank you. 
For this DIY, I'm going to use three of these white and orange buffalo checked pumpkins from Dollar Tree. They're super cute the way they are, but I just wanted to give them something a little bit extra and do something a little bit different. So I took the stems out of the pumpkins. I did save the stems. Um, for future DIYs, I'm actually going to use one of the stems later on in this video. Um, but I'm going to take some of these white roses, which I got from Dollar Tree a long time ago. Um, to be honest, I believe they were from um, a Valentine's Day video that I did a while back. So I'm repurposing them for this project today. Um, but I'm going to just take some hot glue and put them on the backs of the roses and hot glue them on the top side around the pumpkins. I used about five or six to go around and then it's um, kind of bare in the middle. So I used another one for the center and just hot glued it down in the center. And that was really it for these pumpkins. They turned out super cute and it was just a different take and it only took a few minutes to glue these roses on. For this DIY, I am going to make a leaf wreath. Try to say that time five times fast. Um, definitely can't. Uh, I'm gonna take one of the willow wreaths and then I have six bunches of these um, white and pastel leaves from Dollar Tree they have this year. I actually use the pumpkins for a different DIY. So I'm gonna use the leaves for this wreath today. Um, I just pulled the leaves from the stems and then I cut the leaves separately so that way they were easier to work with. And then I hot glued the leaves down on to the wreath. I alternated the colors um, and I just layered the leaves on top of each other as I went around. So I actually only ended up using three bunches of these leaves for this wreath. Um, it actually didn't take as many as I thought it would to fill this wreath up. So I just laid the leaves on the top around the wreath. I did not lay the leaves on the inside or the outer side of the wreath um, because the leaves were full and they took up so much space you couldn't see the inner or outer side when the wreath was hanging up if that makes sense and if there was any extra leaves left over i just used them to fill in any gaps and make the uh, wreath look fuller for a super simple wreath it turned out so beautiful for fall For the final DIY, I'm going to use one of these carvable pumpkins from Dollar Tree and I'm going to use some of this farmhouse ticking stripe ribbon from Dollar Tree as well. I had two and a half packs of ribbon, but you definitely need a full three packs to cover this pumpkin. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the ribbon and cut it into strips and then I'm going to hot glue the ribbon to the bottom and the top side of the pumpkin. Then with my next strip, I'm just going to overlap that first strip just a little bit and kind of angle it at the top there um, so that that way you don't see any of the orange on the pumpkin. And then I'm gonna keep going around the pumpkin, just cutting strips of ribbon and hot gluing it as I go. Uh, around the pumpkin and trying not to have the orange show through. Um, like I said, you definitely need a full three packs of this ribbon. And another thing I would do is I would also paint the pumpkin white or cream colored beforehand. That way you make sure if any of the pumpkin does show through, it is white. 
You can see here as I'm going around the pumpkin with the ribbon that there are some gaps um, in between each of the ribbon. So what I did was I took my hot glue gun and I just used the tip of my hot glue gun and poked it through the gaps that the ribbon was making um, and just kind of pulled that ribbon so that it would not show the orange through anymore um, but like i said if you had three packs of this it would work out perfectly and you wouldn't have to worry about that too much and also if you painted the pumpkin as well um, but i did get it to work and i just continued to glue the strips of ribbon all the way around the pumpkin and you can see better here where i'm um, hot gluing those gaps together uh, so that that way you don't see the orange now I'm going to take that stem that came from the orange and white buffalo checked pumpkins and I'm just going to go ahead and cut the stick that sticks inside the pumpkin off and I'm just going to hot glue the stem down to the pumpkin and I'm using some berries that came from the leaves from the last DIY and hot glue those down and that's it. I hope you enjoyed these easy high-end fall DIYs today. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.